Hi guys and welcome to this short video where I will show you how to use the layouts and how to edit the timeline in easy CMS. So this is very important. So let's get started. So first of all, you just need to, you know, enter your login and password, click on login, and then we'll directly go to layout over here. So in the layout, I have access to my existing layout here, but of course I can add a new layout. So let's do that here. I will click on add new layout and I will just give it a name. Let's say my new layout here. The template, you know, is not existing. And here I will actually choose a resolution. By default, every resolution should be around landscape. So this is a, you know, standard normal display like you have in your lounge, for example, this is a standard resolution. Then you have portrait, which is more like, you know, uh, for, specific advertising and then here you have you know different resolution by default i will just choose landscape and i will leave the rest um, as it is now i will click on save here we go and i'm here in my design it's totally empty so let's get started the most important part is here below you have the layout designer widget i will click on here and here we go it will appear at the bottom all my widgets so for this example, we just do something very simple. It's just going to be a full screen layout. We're not going to do any multi zone. There will be another video to show you how to divide the screens in multiple zones. But here, let's do something very simple. I will just add an image. I will click on my region. At the moment, I just have one. It's a full screen region. And here I have two options. I can add files from my desktop or I can add files from my library. So let's try both. I will add files here. I have some new files so I'll click, click on this one just need to add some new picture of a burger and here I can give it a name so let's say burger one I will click on here upload click done and up directly it's added to my layout here you can see it's full screen if I want to make sure I'll just click on here and I will have a preview so just need to wait a second here we go and I can see my full screen picture fantastic Let's add some more images, but these ones are already in my library. So we click here, view library, and here I can actually make a search if I need to. I can say, okay, already uploaded it. This one is uh, called ice cream, for example, and I will add it. And the other one, uh, I will just choose it visually. I know I need uh, the beers, for example, these two, and you can see here, it's actually being added here. I have my little playlist already being created. Uh, and I need to add as well this one and this one. Uh, and I think that's it. So let's just go to add to selected region, the green button. I will close my library. And here actually I have my timeline with multiple images. That's perfect. As you can see, they are all 10 seconds, but you know, I want to kind of change that a bit. So uh, instead of using the timeline view here, I will go to the list view here. I will click on this and here is going to make maybe a bit easier to manage my, my playlist. So in the list view, my thumbnail is just showing here when I hover above the title of the item here, as you can see. So I will just rearrange it. I will put first a beer. Then I will add this burger. Here we go. Then I will put the beer again. Then I will add this burger. And then I will add the ice cream. Here we go. Eventually, this image I don't need anymore. I will just right click on it and click on delete. Here we go. Click yes. And here I have my playlist. That's great. But the beers, I don't want it to show so long. So I will just click on set duration. And instead of 10 seconds, I would just say six seconds is enough. I will click save. Same for this beer, set duration, six seconds and save. Here we go. I will quit the list view. I will go back to my timeline view and I can see that everything is okay. I can actually, if I want to, I can click on here, full screen mode, and I will be able to actually see exactly what does it look like if I will be to upload it to my screen. 
So that's great. I'm happy with that. Um, so I have images, but of course, in the timeline, you're not obliged to just add images. You can add as well videos and as well, you can add some text. So let's just try to add some text for this exercise. I will just click here, click on my zone, my layout, and you can see here, I can edit the text. So I will click uh, here. I can actually preview what the text will, will look like. So I will center the text using this. I can actually make it a bit lower. I can, you know, change the font here. Say I want comic. I will change the size. I want it a bit bigger. Here we go. I can even change the color. Let's say red. And I will say, please wear a mask when ordering, for example. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. So I added some text. That's perfect. I will just click save. Here we go. I can actually preview it directly. I can go back here and actually the text, I want to show it first. So I will bring it a bit closer to the beer. Here we go. And then I just realized it's just five seconds. I want to show it a bit longer. So we click on it, set the duration. I would like to show it for eight seconds. For example, I will click save. Here we go. And now basically I can click on here, play, preview layout, and I can actually toggle full screen as well. And here, please wear a mask when not doing. Thank you. Perfect. It will wait so eight seconds. Then it will switch to the picture. Oh, yeah, I need to click play, of course, here, preview layout. So it's loading the layout and it's going to make me a preview. Here we go. Please wear a mask. Thank you. Eight seconds. And then it switch to the other image. Here we go. That's great. You know, that's enough. I say, okay, that's good. I can go back. Here we go. And once I'm happy with the layout, the only thing I have to do is click here, publish layout. And now the layout is saved. I cannot edit it anymore and I can schedule it on the display I want. So let's just do that. I will go to schedule. I will create an event here. It's a layout and I will just choose, for example, a group of displays called info. And I will choose always. Let's make things simple for this example. And I will choose my new layout and I will just click save. So that is a step you have to do in order to create your layout and then schedule it to show it on the display you want. Okay. So this should be enough to get started. Uh, we will make other videos with more advanced um, multi-zone and, you know, expiry dates and all this in the layout. But for the moment, I think that is a good start. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will be happy to answer it. Thank you very much.